If I were to mention the words Pacific Gold Rush, most people think of the 1849 California Gold Rush, or they think of the 1896 Klondike Gold Rush. But there was another gold rush in the Pacific region that's much, much older than this. And in addition, it's not talking about yellow gold. This gold rush was surrounding something called soft gold. Here's the story in a nutshell. In 1778, Captain James Cook is here, Vancouver Island. He lands with his ship. He needs to do some repair. It's March, April. It's cold and wet. His men are cold and they're, they're freezing to death. And these Indians come down to look at them. And these Indians are dressed in these fabulous fur robes. And James Cook's men look at those Indians and they think, hmm, I'd like to buy a robe. And so what do the Indians want to trade for? What the Indians want are steel nails. For one nail, they'll give the men a fur. For another nail, they give them another fur. And so James Cook's men are buying these furs for these nails, and they cut them up and line their hats and line their coats and their gloves, and they're very nice and comfortable. Well, later, they're leaving the Pacific and heading back to England, and James Cook's men happen to stop over in Canton, China, over here. And the Chinese come on board the ship to check them out, and the Chinese see these furs, and they recognize what they are because they're a very special fur. And so those Chinese go to shore, and they get boxes of bars of silver, pure silver, and they come back on the ship, and they want to buy those furs. How much are they offering? $120 for each one. Here are James Cook's men. Here are these furs that they bought for a nail, and the Chinese will give them $120 worth of pure silver. Oh, and, and back in 1780, this is um, like $3,480. So a nail for $3,480 the Cook's men just go crazy. They want to get a barrel of nails and go back and buy all the furs they can, and they know they'll be millionaires. But, of course, they can't. They are explorers. So, by the early 1780s, here in England and over here in Boston, word is out. There's a fortune to be made. There's this magical fur that exists out here on the Pacific coast Boston people know about it. The English people know about it. It's magical fur over here that the Chinese will pay a fortune for. And the people here will trade it for just a piece of steel. The Chinese referred to this fur as soft gold. And this is a story of this first Pacific gold rush involving these furs. And this is a story that men will throw themselves at. And this is a far-flung, distant place. There's no charts. There's no maps. These men will be the first to go up there and figure out where are these Indians, where are the islands, where are these furs, how to get to China. This is a story with many disappointments and many, many heartaches because this is a very dangerous business to be in. But this story also has one of the most remarkable confrontations between Euro-Americans and indigenous people anywhere that has one of the most surprising results that could ever be imagined. This is a story of soft gold.